Hi, this is linear equations in one variable, chapter 2 in NCR, NCRT class 8 book. So, I am going to now do the exercise 2.1. Exercise 2.1, the first sum x minus 2 is equal to 7. So, now we have to have this variable less on the left hand side which is equal to 7 when this goes to the right side becomes minus 2 becomes plus 2. So, therefore, x the value of x will be 9. <coughs> Question number 2 y plus 3 is equal to 10. Now, I am having the variable y on the left hand side which is equal to this value 10 the 3 will go this side. So, it is 10 minus 3 the y value is 7. So, that is how we are going to find the value of the variable. So, always the variable should be on the left side the value should be on the take all the values to the right side. Question number 3 6 is equal to z plus 2. Now, we have the variable on the right side now bring this variable to the left side so which becomes minus z the 6 will be here 6 minus z will be equal to 2. Now, minus z is equal to 2 minus 6 minus z is equal to minus 4. We are cancelling the minus z is equal to 4 or otherwise we can have like this x z plus 2 is equal to 6 we can interchange the uh, sum then z will be equal to 6 minus 2 z will be 4. Question number 4 3 by 7 plus x is equal to 17 by 7. Now, x is equal to take this as such 17 by 7 take this uh, value this side minus this is plus so this becomes minus 3 by 7 when you take LCM it becomes 7 because they are the like terms becomes 17 minus 3 therefore, the, x, the value of x will be 14 by 7 which is equal to 2. So, the value of x is equal to 2. Now, moving on to the fifth sum 6 x is equal to 12. Now, uh, this is actually 6 into x is equal to 12 which means 6 into x. So, whenever uh, it is on the multiplication side the other one side it is multiplication when it goes to the other side it becomes division. So, the value of x will be 12 divided by 6. So, the value of x will be 2. Question number 6 t by 5 is equal to 10. Now, here it is on the denominator. So, when it goes to the other side, it goes as multiplication. So, the value of t will be 10 into 5, t is equal to 50. <coughs> now, sub number 7, 2x by 3 is equal to 18. Now, let us move this 3 here, which becomes 2x is equal to 18 into 3 x is equal to it is on the numerator. So, when it comes the other side becomes the denominator. So, we can have like this 2 9 times 18 9 3 is a 27 the value of x is 27. Question number 8 1.6 is equal to y by 1.5. Now, we can have it as take y this side. So, 1 by 1 y by 1.5 is equal to 1.6 the value of y will be 1.6 into 1.5 the value of y is equal to 240, 2.40. So, y is 2.4. Sum number 9, 7x minus 9 is equal to 16. Now, take this 9 this side which becomes 7 x is equal to 16 plus 9, 7 x is equal to 25, the value of x will be 25 divided by 7 because it is 7 into x. 
So, when it comes the other side it becomes the denominator. So, the value of x will be 25 by 7. Equation number 10. Fourteen y minus eight is equal to thirteen. So fourteen y will be equal to thirteen plus eight. Fourteen y is equal to <coughs> twenty-two. Y is equal to twenty-one. Y equal to twenty-one by fourteen. Seven times two, seven times three. So the value of y will be three by two. Question number eleven. 17 plus 6p is equal to 9. 6p is equal to 9 minus 17. 6p is equal to minus 8. p will be equal to minus 8 divided by 6. 2 fours, 2 threes. So, the value of p will be minus 4 by 3. Question number 12. x by 3 plus 1 is equal to 7 by 15. Now, x by 3 is equal to 7 by 15. This goes this side to become minus 1. 15 will be the LCM. The value will be 7 minus 15. So, x by 3 is equal to minus 8 by 15. Now, we will take the denominator here. So, x will be equal to minus 8 by 15 into 3. This is equal to x value is minus 8 by 5. 